Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. The title of this video, Taurus, Glock, and Staccato, what they have in common. And it's rather a strange combination of handguns, but hear me out. Now, I do believe Taurus has stepped up their game. They have done a phenomenal job, especially the last five years. The G3 series is pretty excellent. They are budget priced and they work well. Much different than the reputation they had eight, nine, ten years ago. And people say they really stepped up their game. But the Taurus G2C really brought them onto the map of positivity. And then the G3C even took it a little bit further. But one of the things I've noticed is that whatever handgun you want to talk about, there's always a G3C G3C owner out there saying, I don't know what the big deal is about that. You know, I picked up a G3C for 230 bucks and it can do everything that that handgun can do and plus some. I've got 4,000 round through without a single failure. And if that is true, I think that is great. I think it speaks highly of Taurus, but that doesn't mean there's not another gun out there we can't discuss. And that's the impression you get with the G3C owners and the G3 series, which I'm a fan. I've, I've got just about all of them, and I really like it, especially like that G3 Tactical. Now, let's talk about Glock. Glock, we call them fanboys, the Glock fanboys. I'm going to address the fanboys here. I want to first say that I've probably owned more Glocks than most people watching this video. In my life, I, like, I've had so many. Everything from the, the large to the 357 Sig to, I think I own four right now. So I'm also a fan of Glock, but it's pretty darn hard to introduce something else without somebody saying, well, that's nothing but a Glock copy. Well, perhaps a portion of that is true, but Glock was so late coming out with their MOS handguns, uh, Optic Ready. They, they were late coming out with forward serrations. They were late coming out with a little thinner grip that's not so blocky. They were late coming out with a single stack 9mm. They were late in so many areas but yet everything is a Glock copy and if by chance your Glock fails it's never the fault of the gun it's either the ammunition or the user it's never the fault of Glock well, well it's clear that you limp wristed that like you don't know what you're doing well not everything is a Glock copy Glock makes great handguns they don't innovate well though and, and I'm going to tell you why they have so many law enforcement contracts out there that the consumer market, which I'm sure profits them quite a bit, is not as great as the law enforcement. This is just me speaking, but they have so many law enforcement contracts. It's almost like, you know, SIG when they get the, the government contracts for the, the U.S. Army. Those are pre-made sales in advance. You are making guns, you are shipping them out. You don't have that strong desire for the civilian market as, as much. FN's the same way. You know, they you don't see them promoting much stuff. They have so many government contracts. I think Glock has that same thing going with law enforcement. And, and that speaks highly of Glock. I'm not going to take that away from them. But it's the fanboys, if you will, that it's hard to have a conversation with. Well, that's a Glock copy. Well, my Glock's way better than that. Well, why, why would you want to walk through PDP when... I got a Glock 19 that's way better and less expensive. So that's interesting. And I think a lot of people who speak that way, they own Glock. But Staccato, my goodness, there are so many people that will stand by Staccato no matter what. And I'm a fan too. Like I don't own Staccato, but I've shot them and I'm very much impressed with what they have to offer. But now this is like the golden age of 1911s and 9mm with double stack and optic ready and everything. Like they're, they are a huge hit in competition and people who love that platform of handguns. And, and they are amazing. I, I'm a fan myself. But everything is not just Staccato. It seems that if, if, say, Springfield, the Prodigy, that came out, it had some good reviews, it had some bad reviews. I've had, had mine, I'd never had a single issue with it, and I had people saying, well, that's, that's no good, why don't you just get a staccato? It's half the price of a staccato with the same type of platform. Am I saying it's better? No, I never did a comparison, but can't we have a conversation about this? You talk about some of the other ones out there and say, well, I don't know why anybody would get that, just get a staccato. I don't believe 
most of the people watching, well, I don't know about watching, but the most of the people that speak that way own a staccato, but they watch the video with somebody else saying that this is the greatest gun. We have to be very careful. That is a subjective topic. When someone says this is the best gun, if you say this is the best gun that I own, well, that's different. But this is the best gun out there. Nobody could ever compare with this. Uh, you know, don't even stop shopping. Go, go get this gun and you will be happy. I get that same type of feeling when I listen to those automated reviewers out there that don't know what they're talking about and never have any experience. They copy and paste something. That's a different subject for a different day. Already made a video. I'll attach that if you didn't see it. But Taurus, Glock, and Staccato, fine handguns, no argument. But let's have a conversation about something else because when you defend them to the very death, where I'm right, you're wrong, and this is how, is it, how it is because I watched a YouTube video, that's when you lose a little bit of credibility because experience, real life experience is where it at. And if you have that experience, I'll be more than happy to sit down and talk to you. If you watch the video, well, perhaps... Go get that experience and maybe you'll feel the same. Maybe you'll feel different. I don't know, but at least you'll have experience. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.